So advanced turboprop, what's this going to mean to the industry? What is this encompass in this particular platform? When are we going to see it? We announced today the advanced turboprop. This is an engine we have had on the drawing boards for a number of years. It delivers 10% more power at high altitude crews while burning 20% less fuel. And it also has an integrated propulsion control. So in the cockpit, there is one lever. Mm -hmm. The pilot doesn't have to worry about setting and adjusting the propeller and the engine throttle. It's all in one lever. Now, as I understand it, Textron has adopted this for their single-engine turboprop, and that's obviously a great start to a new program like this. Was this engine designed initially for this particular program, or what are you looking for beyond that? Well, about five years ago, we started doing design iterations and meeting with different airframers. And through each successive design, through cycle deck complete modeling like we do on our large commercial engines, we started to improve the engine up to a point where it could differentiate itself, not just the engine differentiate itself from the competition, but allow the airframer to differentiate a future airframe. So at that point, Textron looked and said, we're gonna have a competition, and we wanna develop a new airplane, single engine turboprop, and so we participated in that competition, and fortunately we were the one that was chosen. This is going to be an extraordinarily big program, and yet it's all going to be done overseas. What was the rationale for that particular decision, outside of the fact that apparently a lot of this technology was inspired by the H-Series? Some of the technology, the architecture, was H-Series. But you know, GE Aviation has about 8,000 engineers worldwide. About 3,000 of those are outside the United States. Mm -hmm. And so our different modules of the engine, whether it's the, the compressor or the high pressure turbine or the combustor or wiring harnesses or controls, some of those modules and systems are actually designed outside the United States today and they are integrated for our commercial engines in the United States. Since a lot of that work is already done outside the United States, we decided we wanted to follow on what we did with the H series, which is designed and certified outside the United States in the Czech Republic. We wanted to do a European engine. So that's what we decided to do. And finally, when will we see flyable hardware? Well, we will deliver the first test articles in about the 2018 timeframe. I don't want to be too specific, but a couple years from now. And I think the important takeaway on that is that an engine development program normally takes longer than that. So we have actually been working on this engine for quite some time already. Brad, on the eve of MBAA 2015, we wish you good luck, and we're really looking forward to seeing the hardware. Uh, so am I. Thank you very much. Thank you, sir. Aero TV is brought to you by True Blue Power Advanced Lithium Ion Main Chip Batteries feature proprietary nanophosphate technology. They deliver three times the energy density and are more than 40% lighter than lead acid or NICAD alternatives. RTCA tested, FAA certified, available to OEMs today.